So, uh, any questions for uh, so Fix. You want click? No, English. Okay. Because we have. Uh, uh, so, on who, uh, which team has the most pressure, you think? Uh, press, I need to get my hand. Yeah. Pressure, I mean, the first game was 1-1, so obviously it's uh, just a 50-50 percent chance of, of, of going through. Um, but both teams definitely want to go through, so I mean, that's pressure on both teams. Who are the favorites? The favorites? Um, yes. As I just said, I think it's 50-50 due to the result from the last game. Um, we know we have to score to, to have a chance, but uh, we, we also know we are capable of, of doing that. So um, I, I see our chances as good. So what would you uh, saw in experience in the first game? Uh, what do you think uh, is to your advantage going through tomorrow? I mean, we... We were very much on the ball. Um, we we created uh, we created some chances uh, enough to win the game, in my opinion. But we we didn't we didn't affect. We wasn't so effective uh, as we, we should have been. Um, so I mean, if you look at the first game, I think we we controlled much of the game. Uh, didn't allow them to 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 come near our goal as much. So we have to take that. On for tomorrow, and uh, yeah, as I said, be more effective. Any third question? Okay. But you have to score. How does that? Uh, what kind of impact does that have? I mean, mentally and, and uh, the mindset going into the game. I think, uh, yeah, I can only speak for myself, but I think it's it's a good thing that you you need to score. You by doing that, you're under pressure from the first minutes, and you have to. Uh, yeah, be on your best game from the first minute um, because you know you have to make at least one goal to go through. Um, so I think it's 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 not a big problem for us to to go into that game knowing to score because we we're used used to doing that. Uh, so we just have to um, to use the knowledge we have from the first game and uh, yeah, be effective, as I said. Thank you. <laughs> what do you say about your own performance after the World Cup? Uh, yeah, my form has been, I think, good in the latest games. Um, I've been offensive minded, and uh, yeah, uh, but also because of the, the team has performed very well. Um, we are on a, on a good streak with a lot of games, a lot of games won, uh, so it also affects the, the individual players um, and also affects me. So I'm just enjoying the the form of the team uh, so I can perform better. Have you had a chance to look at this very special stadium yet and what's your reaction? Only from the outside. It, uh, it was a new site. I haven't seen, uh, seen a stadium like this before, but uh, uh, from the outside it was uh, yeah, I think it looked very beautiful, and from the inside also uh, good policy. So, uh, looking forward to to see how the pitch is as well. Yeah, have you heard about the pitch? No, but <laughs> somebody's laughing here, so maybe uh, yeah, we'll see in a few minutes. I had a picture here. Is that from this uh, pitch? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. excites me. <laughs> Okay, no more questions for Solon X or? Uh, one more. Okay, one, last one. What do you expect from Vivi tomorrow? What do you think their mindset is and the way you play? You know, you are in the front seat, so. Yeah, exactly. So I expect them yeah, to come out as they did the last game. Uh, very compact, very strong. Uh, you could see they, they have. Uh, Quality in the counter attacks, um, so I expect uh, kind of the same thing. Um, they were difficult to, to play against, but we'll have uh, 90 minutes of knowledge how to play them, and we we have to use them them good.
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Sullivan. And uh, you're welcome to ask questions to the coach of us all. Yes, you did. Know. I didn't expect nothing less than that from the leader. That's what I expected. In what way? In what way? The way they played the game against us. The way they played against against Ludogrets. And the way he's coming out and see the pitch. So I didn't expect it any, anything less. I've been prepared. And we are prepared. Super stuff. But what do you mean if you, you compare the way you're playing with the team? We need to do everything to go further. That's not what it cost. So you think that I manipulated? Sorry? Do you think that I have manipulated the, the pitch? That is what you're saying, it's not what I'm saying. It's, I'm just saying this. I didn't expect nothing less. Something happened with the pitch one week ago. It's very dangerous to assume things or when you don't know the facts. Uh, this is why I will not say that. But are you asking me? I'm surprised. No. After see what happened against Ludovic, after see what happened against us in the first game, I'm not surprised. At that. And that's what I try to take to my players. Okay, a favorite, uh, I think, is pretty even. I mean, after the game, I said uh, a little bit out of emotions as well. Uh, they are slightly, slightly ahead, but uh, actually now, I don't think so. I think it's still 50-50, like Sören said. That's how we think. Uh, dangerous result for them. Uh, <coughs> I think we have to score. Uh, when they score first, nothing happened for us. We still need to score. We're still in the time. We score one goal, most likely we have a chance to win it and go further. We score two goals, we most likely go further. We score three goals, we definitely go further. So that's that's how we have to see it. Can you say anything about the physical status in the group of the injured players? Uh, it's no secret that we have players who have not participated in the last league game and also got substituted for uh, health issues at the last league game, so uh, we will everybody here with, apart from Arno. Arno had a concussion. Uh, uh, with that sort of uh, problems you can't, can't, you can't play around. I think it's very, very dangerous and we have the responsibility for the health of the player and, um, and the doctor and we took a very sensible decision to leave him home. Um, the number two are here with us, or number three are here with us. Um, they will train, they will have different programs, all three of them, and tomorrow we will see who's ready. I expect and hope that all three of them will be happy, uh, but I can't guarantee it. Will these three players do some kind of tests today? They have different programs. Um, I think Carlos will do the whole training session with us. Uh, Rasmus will do part of the training session with us and the run will do an initial program. So and, uh, that's what we set up from the medical side and um, we see tomorrow that I'm still optimistic uh, that we can get all three of them on the pitch uh, but there's no guarantee. Would you see the big plays? There's I think, like I said, the result, the result is obviously in their favour, uh, but it's, it's still a dangerous result in my opinion. Um, they are very good in defending them. And I said that before the first leg, and I said that now. I have big respect for their organisation, for their mindset, for their, for their understanding how to win games. And this is why they got champions, and this is why they are in this competition like we are. Um, Sören, uh, Sören mentioned it, we created in the last game chances, maybe not as many as we used to do, and maybe not as many as we hoped, but more than enough, uh, four to five chances, more than enough to win the game. I think we was a bit disappointed the way we gave the goal away. Um, 
but in general, I think uh, we know we know that we can create something. Uh, obviously, the pitch is a uh, will challenge that, but uh, we have to stay up for the challenge. And um, we was uh, over 60 minutes in in completely control in the whole game, and 50 minutes, uh, sorry, 30 minutes, uh, the game was was even. What they looked and this 30 minutes quite good in the counter attack, uh, but over 60 minutes we had completely control and. Uh, we try to do that tomorrow as well, because I think we have to, doesn't matter how it is out there, but we, we have to believe in our qualities and our players we have, and we will not change uh, because of what is out there. So we have to play to the conditions, we're having a very experienced squad, a very experienced starting 11 tomorrow, whoever starts, and I think uh, they are more than capable of making the right decisions on the pitch, where to play and how to play. But we, we need to get control on the game. And then we see how much we can create.